I wanted to show you guys using a better camera, I guess, that there is a big blooming problem here on the Sony X95K yet again. Now, most people have kind of already accepted this at this point, which is great. But again, this is just to kind of point out that I'm not really augmenting anything and just showing you the results in real time. So you can clearly see the glowing. I'll zoom out so you can see the full TV. My autofocus will probably go crazy or haywire, but you can see the full TV and you can see the bright blooming. Now we're in a moderately lit room, okay? When the lights go down even further, it's gonna be even worse. It's a very visible thing. If you open up the menu, you'll see at the bottom here that there's all kinds of highlighting and blooming that happens and you can see it in the corners as well. I'll try to lock my focus so that it doesn't go totally crazy. Okay, there we go. And as we uh, just move around, you can see in all four corners there is very bright, very visible blooming. I do see that on my end on the PlayStation 5. Now again, people will say that, you know, I'm not watching text and I'm not watching subtitles all the time, which is fine, but can I just point out the only reason anyone is buying this TV at $3,000 a pop is because of the mini LED and master backlight drive technology that Sony is marketing. This is pretty much meant to be as close to OLED as humanly possible, and this is nowhere close to OLED. That is why I'm harping on this so much, and I'm going through such great lengths to explain this, because this is something that should never have happened, and this is the 65-inch variant. Now, some people say the 75 and 85-inch are better. I won't have the ability to test that to verify that, but I can say that the 65-inch is not. I mean, you can see it lighting up like the 4th of July with every single thing that I move around. And again, my ISO isn't blown out, as you can clearly see. I mean, you can still make out text and all that good stuff. So again, it's this is what it is. I, I really honestly don't have a reason to lie about it, as I've been saying. And I understand that it may annoy some people to discover that maybe Sony isn't at their best anymore. I'll zoom in to show you again. Like, that blooming is very noticeable. I'm pretty sure you can see it. And again, notice how you can see that the moments earlier, and my hand, by the way, is still dark. You see moments earlier, it's... It's exactly what it is. It's a very hazy, very ugly, big bloom. It's very ugly. So, uh, yeah, not making that up at all. I have, again, no reason to. I just want you to be informed about what you're seeing versus what people are trying to claim. Now, again, 65-inch uh, version here. If somebody's got something bigger, then ask them about it. But this is the 65-inch performance. Now, we're going to go on to show you just a little bit more. One of the other big claims is that you can't see this blooming and normal content. So we have the matrix and we have this little screen grab on here to show you that if you look carefully, you can see glowing around the edges. It's very prominent, very apparent, very obvious as to what it is. You can see a very bright glow around Trinity. It's not something that is, you know, mitigated. So again, the blooming is definitely noticeable. If we look at this scene, you can kind of take a look at the black bars. They're not black at all. So as we look in the corner there, it's very gray, right? Very hazy, okay? And then again, at the top, more of the same, hazy, okay? And again, if you think I'm playing games, I'll lower my ISO even further, and you can still see it. Lower it even further, you can still see it. It's, it's there. In fact, I think lowering it kind of created more of a contrast between this and the black. I mean, it's, it's just there. And that's something that you're going to notice even in movies. So... I'll show you another example of this. Notice how in this scene you have Trinity and you see a very bright glow around the black bars and you also see it kind of bleeding from like where her head is. As you can see there's a lot of haze to the image here. Now to be very clear my ISO is set to 250. Um, there's not really a whole lot I can do to you know change the aspect of blooming that exists in scenes like this and this is real content and where you will find it. Now, I can be dramatic and lower it down to 200, lower it down to 160, lower it down to 125, lower it down to 100, but you'll still notice that it's even at ISO 100, very hazy. Typically, when you watch other creators, they like to have really dark footage in a totally blacked out room to hide any of these light deficiencies or, or light diffusing deficiencies that you're going to run into. It's really annoying because I see this time and time again on so many other channels. I'll ramp it back up to the 250 where it was, okay, where you can see the light blooming. And again, 
No reason to lie, but this is something that is going to happen in real world content. As you can clearly see, if you look very carefully, the blooming is very real. And keep in mind, this is in a moderately lit room. We are not in a totally darked out room. So when the lights go off, that's going to be even more noticeable. There is a good amount of haze that happens around here, trying to keep Deku bright. So the mini LEDs are not effectively keeping all of this super inky and dark like it's supposed to, only illuminating the areas that they need. Further kind of drawing to the fact that this is not very good with local dimming, even though many LEDs are smaller than full arrays and they're supposed to give you better diffusion and better placement of black levels to contrast levels, all that stuff like the, the, the stark difference isn't there, right? Like to give you that, wow, this is the next level of, you know, going from full array to, you know, paying more money for the master backlight drive and paying more money for the mini LED technology. It is hazy. It is just as bad as we had on full array. And I don't know why other people aren't really being as honest about this. My ISO right now is at 160. Okay, and it looks terrible. I can lower it more to 125 and even 100, but I think you can still even see that it's still gray at the bottom here, all around where it's illuminating. And again, there is slight inkiness happening over here, but it gets really gray around the object. Now I'll put it back to 160 where it was so that you can see it a little bit better. But again, when the lights go off, this TV is not pretty at all. Please be mindful that even in a bright room or moderately lit room, you are going to see glowing around objects like this, haloing all around here. All of that is actually real. You can see it. It's there. All of that. That's what you're going to be subjected to. And again, I don't know how well it's going to show up on YouTube without opening up my ISO too much, but I definitely do see it. It's really bad over here. Again, I'm in a moderately bright room and you can't really see how bad it is over here, but it's really like a bluish color. Um, very ugly, not pretty at all. Same thing over here at the bottom. Very, very bad. I don't know how else to explain this. I mean, I'm not trying to be too much of a jerk about it, but at the same time, I need you to understand that, again, you should not be paying $3,000 for something that is not going to be delivering a $3,000 experience. And when the sole premise is that we have master backlight drive and mini LED working together to give you this grand experience, and then it's no better than full array and even edge lit in some cases, now we need to start looking at Sony and saying like, what is the real price of their mini LED experience? If you look very carefully, you can see that this is very hazy in this corner where it should be black. It's very hazy, like really ugly. That's not black at all. Nowhere close to being black. That's gray. The same can be said about his uniform. Very gray. Now again, we're not expecting OLED, but I've seen even edgelet TVs do better than this. And again, you have to ask what the full price or the real price of the mini LED technology that Sony is offering this year is if this is what they're doing at the 65 inch level. Now I'll be very honest with you, I suspect that other YouTubers are not being as honest as I'm being here and they're kind of fudging it a little bit, telling you that there is not blooming to the degree that there is and it's something that you're gonna figure it out the hard way if you put your trust in the wrong person. I can't tell you who to believe, I don't really care one way or another, I'm just here to be a tool in your belt to help you get what you need, which is the truth. And truthfully speaking, this is a letdown if you're talking about black levels. And since the biggest reason anyone is paying $3,000 for the 65 inch variant right now in May of 2022, I think we can kind of sum this up to you're getting finessed and you're kind of getting scammed. I mean, it, if I told you this was a $500 TV's image right now, would you believe it? Probably, right? This doesn't look like a $3,000 image. And that's just as honest as anyone can tell you. Hopefully this finds you guys well, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later.